Hello, I'm Joe Crisera from ContractorSelling.com and welcome to Joe TV, the place you go to change your thinking and grow your sales. As a leader in your organization and as a coach to your team, you do your best to make sure that your team has the proper knowledge, training, and support to succeed. You hold meetings and training sessions, you ride along with them on calls and share everything you know so that the lessons you've learned along the way might help your team members to become more successful. You try to be a good leader, teacher, and above all else, a great coach. But there's one crucial aspect of being a great coach that you must remember. In fact, if you're not doing this one thing, you're shortchanging your team and yourself, and you could very well be setting yourself up for future disappointment. The secret isn't so secret. So what is this one thing that every great coach must do to ensure success of their team and themselves? I'll guarantee you've heard it many times before, although you still might not be doing it. Here it is. Great coaches are committed to being a student who is willing to learn. When coaches feel they've already know everything, they not only fail to adapt to changes that occur around them, but in doing so, they let down their team. Being a know-it-all leader creates a closed door mindset between you and your team. Basically, your people feel, why tell them anything? He'll never listen to what I have to say anyway. Whether it's in sports or business, I'll bet you can easily name a coach who was once on top of the world, but who wound up in the scrap heap simply because they bypassed opportunities to learn about how new ideas and changes in the world could positively impact their team. President Harry Truman once said, not all readers are leaders, but all leaders are readers. Remember that the level of success you're enjoying today was achieved based on what things used to be like in the past. Mediocre coaches rest on their laurels. They don't push themselves to learn more each day. Great coaches who are truly transformational realize that they don't already know everything. There's always something out there that's new and exciting to learn every day. For some coaches, it's a matter of ego. You have to be secure enough in your leadership role to be also open to seek out new information like childlike curiosity. When you adopt that mindset, you'll always be a step ahead of the challenges you face. If you followed me for any amount of time, you probably heard me say, your ego is not your amigo. It's a fun way to remember the serious message that has to be successful before you can be a great coach and let go of your false pride. That old school, I'm the boss and I know everything management style doesn't work anymore. To be a great coach, you need to be a manager and a teacher, but even more importantly, you need to be a student leader who learns and grows with the team. Part of the Navy SEAL creed is, my training is never complete. Every coach or leader should adopt that attitude. If you preach that your team should always be learning and focusing on personal growth, but you don't do the same thing, your team is gonna see through it. They'll lose faith in you and tune you out over time because after all, a teacher or a coach who isn't also a learner has no credibility. So how do you make an ongoing lifelong learning a priority for you and your team? Find priority and opportunities to learn together as a team. There's a lot of ways you can embrace lifelong learning on both an individual and a team level. Find successful, non-competitive companies that you can go visit and learn from. Look at the weaknesses of your team and buy books or attend seminars to make those weaknesses a strength. Read a new business and personal development books, both on your own and as a team. As your team begins to bring up, discuss their problems, have them come up with solutions. Pay attention to lessons learned by you and the staff each week and then share the stories of how you overcame them. Invest in professional training programs and courses that change your thinking to grow your sales. And lastly, invest in your coaching for yourself as well. Even if you're a transparent coach who's open to suggestions from your team, sometimes it's lonely at the top. And when things start to get hectic, it's hard to see the forest through the trees. Having your own coach is an investment you'll never regret. Just take a moment right now and think about how much time you spend learning new things that can create a better coach for yourself and teach your team better things. It's probably pretty rare that you take the time from busy life to learn how to do new things. My suggestion is you ramp up that investment. It's one of the best ones you can ever make. Now I wanna hear from you. Do you share stories about your greatest challenges in the week and the lessons you did to overcome those challenges? How did it impact the team? Share your thoughts in the comments below. I'll see you right here on the next Joe TV. 
If you like the information you've heard here, please go to Facebook, look up Contractor Selling, then like and follow us. Also go to the ContractorSalesCoach.com blog and subscribe to our weekly newsletter and updates. Follow me on Twitter by searching at Joe Cressera. Finally, go to our Contractor Selling YouTube channel and subscribe to watch all of our videos there. As usual, the best discussions always take place over at ContractorSelling.com. Sign up and get access today. Most people in leadership positions manage first, and then while managing is necessary, management alone won't create a great team. Enabling the routine, mediocre status quo without challenging your people by creating their possibilities, not